February mornings can be brutal. The only thing that isn't white rolls in at exactly 11 o'clock. 50 inches of fresh snow wouldn't have stopped Pat Steinbach. Good morning. Because he's wearing four layers. Let me go get my book and I'll be right back, okay? And he's only halfway through. Ow. All right. <laughs> Let's see what, see what they're doing. John Grisham. The guy's name was Daryl Sackett. Des Moines Glendale thing. Cemetery is, is silent, except for the wind's howl and Pat's voice. Fingers getting a little cold again. Aimed directly was not at that gravestone. We miss you, Matthew. His sons. We miss you a lot. Another month, it's gonna be one year, hard to believe. Hard to believe. Matthew was 27. It was a, it was a kick. He overdosed. The day of his funeral. I just kind of snuck out of the house and drove over here. And you know, they had the flowers and everything here. And I just, I just laid on top of him. And I just, I just, you know, said that I'm, I won't let you be forgotten, Matthew. And he hasn't. Mom wanted me to say hi. It's too cold for her. It's actually too cold for anybody, but it's the sun's out. It's a pretty day. It's a pretty day. I mean, what I do is probably crazy to a lot of people. They probably think I'm nuts. I'm not. Um, I'm not. I just, I, I, I loved my son and this is what I want to do. Every day. I've tried to forget about the loan. I'd give much, anything to have him back, but I'm sure uh, we know that we have to find what works for us. And this works. This, this works. The Sun Herald from Biloxi. Last August, Matthew Steinbach's dad got sunburned on this hill near Glendale's Pond. Well, I suppose. This winter, Ooh. The pot's getting frozen. That's usually the time to leave, isn't it? The weather's been brutal. All right, well. But this dad's love is relentless. All right, I'll see you later, son. Pat doesn't know how long he'll keep making these daily visits to Glendale Cemetery, but he says his priority will always be making sure his son is never forgotten. Eric Hansen, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.